put in Percona. Today I'm going to show you why you actually need three Percona XYB cluster nodes instead of two and what the benefits are, what actually could happen if you only have two um, and I'll just start with making a little drawing. Uh, I'm going to explain to you during the drawing what actually is the benefit or not. So typically when people talk about high availability, the typical concept is like, well, we only need two servers. Actually, that's not the case. Why exactly is whenever you have two servers, whenever you have actually a connection drop in between those two servers, the server actually doesn't know which one is the primary, which one has actually the correct information. So you might be actually communicating to each one of them and actually have inconsistent data so that actually the system will not be able to sync anymore. So why do we need three nodes? It's very simple, to add quorum to your database cluster. So what happens if in this case, for example, and they're communicating, of course, right? They're communicating in between each other. So what happens if one of the connections actually breaks? You still have a majority system. So Percona XDB cluster is a majority system-based solution. There are ways around it, right? So you have an arbitrator which can be added to the environment so that you have quorum. So let's look back at this system. So an arbitrator is something that is just added inside the cluster communication. So let's make it a little, how you call it, cross, which actually makes sure that uh, that's actually an arbitrator. So it will actually be added, have some communication layer, and make sure that if, for example, this connection in both of them breaks, that it still will see like, okay, I still have majority in this system, I can reach this system, I can no longer reach. So at that point, you can still use that system without you having inconsistency. So let's take a step further. Why could it even be more interesting? So the moment that a Galera or Percona XUV cluster um, if at that moment that you actually want to, for example, create a backup. So the moment that you're actually communicating with your database environment, you're actually adding load to it, right? So you're actually working with it. So if you only have two nodes, if you only have two nodes, at that moment, the moment that this system, for example, needs to recover, and here you have your arbitrary because otherwise it will not work, so if your system needs to recover, it will perform a donor or actually an SST, a, a full state snapshot, towards the broken system whenever it recovers. If you have two nodes, it means potentially that you will have a, a degraded performance on the actual donor node. So what you want to do potentially is actually have three nodes, and at that moment, you will still have, how you call it, full performance and you can actually define which one will be the donor node in a typical situation, that you, still, you will still have um, the performance that you actually require for keeping your application up and running. And I've made a lot of drawings and probably, but the actual idea is that typically in most situations, three nodes is a better idea than two nodes. Of course, in some situations you can use an arbitrator, but typically that's not whenever you want to have high performance uh, loads during failover times, right? So that's something to keep in mind. 